Hey guys, oh, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So I'll be using that today. Sorry, that was quick. And I've been trying to look for a diagram for both and not, but I'm not able to find out. So I had to just go on YouTube, watch a lot of videos, and these guys did not, you know, disclose their um question um books. But I'm just going to explain things that I figured out. So first things first, normal this is always here. It's always on rectangle so you, whenever you want to draw your boat or your notes the first thing you want to draw is a polygon or hexagon sorry but you come to polygon two here right and you tell it how many sides you want six sides obviously because of i don't know if you see your spanner whatever it is in losing boat it's always having like like a v and a hedge i think you would see four sides but originally both has a side so you slide it in to unscrew so you have six sides so i come to the center green dot now i want you guys to pay attention to this so if i do this right click okay right there are two ways i saw two different questions it was very very tactical so in the first question they give us the distance from here to here i'll call it across edge so let's assume they gave us the distance of this edge to this edge um 18 right 18 enter cool do you agree that it is different from this let me draw another hexagon here yeah it's different from this okay I mean, cool then pick my dimension too. so now i need you to pay attention there is distance across edges and there's distance across flats so if i should do this 18 you can see they are different in size one is bigger than the other so i need you guys to always pay attention to your diagram like always pay attention to it this is measurement from edge to edge look at your diagram where is the dimension line coming from is it coming from this edge to edge or coming from flat to flat but for the diagram i'm drawing they went from flat to flat so i think i would be deleting this guy so oh sorry first of all is remove dimension to and remove the dimension line so you'll be able to do whatever you want to do so i come back to delete so first of all look at where the dimension line is it across flat or across edge mm, deleted let's see okay left terminal so i come to this guy and i want to move in right here yeah cool so for the diagram i'm drawing we are using across flat and not across edge so 18 and i click on finish i extrude so for this diagram of mine that i'm following it has um extrusion of 7.5 yeah 7.5 7.5 and okay so now the next thing i need you guys to understand is it is not always flat like this on both edge let me rotate it's not always flat like this on both edge it's always having like this rounded figure it's not always as flat as this so now we come to our edit sketch touch this plane we want to draw a circle of the same diameter as like the the longest distance so circle of diameter 18 enter yeah diameter 18 enter right click okay now come to a street sorry finish sketch after drawing um my circle i come to extrude i click on intersect which is this guy and i want it to go through all yeah through all and advanced property tapa 45 degree 45 and i click on okay can you see this so this is how it both looks so let's imagine there are some diagrams right now remember this is not a question i'm just trying to you know just draw something off and there are some diagrams or there are some boats that we have this tapa edge just in front and the back is always flat right there are some that you have tapa on both ends so let's assume in this our own diagram we have tapa on both ends or before i assume we have tapa on both ends let's just assume we had washer yeah let's assume we had a washer at first i have been told that okay now um the normal boat was i'm coming let me check for the diagram 
yeah the diameter of the um of the extruded part of this boat was 12 mm right so obviously our tapa is going to be 12 mm because it has to swallow um the elongated part or extruded part of the boat that looks like the nail so then this other part has to be you know longer or fatter than the boat so it's like it's splitting it's splitting the boat like seated so okay sorry sorry um so let's just assume it's 25 enter and finish sketch okay so we we'll come to extrude and we touch this part or yeah one is enough then we click on plus so if this was the nail in our diagram and this one would elongate like um i think that's 40 mm so 40 mm cool let me press okay i'll be reverting what i just did but okay so see this then we go to thread so there's something about this thread you need to pay attention to you see something in your dagger that shows m12 yada yada m12 times 40 and all so you need to pay attention you see something like this written in your um diagram or in your image so okay so like i said you need to pay attention to your diagram you see it somewhere above your drawing okay i have another drawing now that one says m10 that is diameter 10 times 1.5 so if i keep clicking on this you can see there are different what's it called like the distance between those threads is different so i'm just gonna press ok at first so we can see what we just did yeah you can see this right i meant to add a chamfer here so this is a boat that has a washer but lo and behold i'm not working on the boat that has a washer so let's assume ctrl z come in let me see what i'm reverting ctrl z ctrl z yeah so i come back to Okay, left, rotate, rotate, and rotate. So yeah, um, I wanted to draw the second assumption. You see, some boats they have the tapper joints like in both both like on both front and back side. So the radius or so diameter again is eighteen. So repeat the same thing. Finish sketch, then extrude. No, so we are intersecting stop out of 45 degree 45 degree through all and okay sorry excuse me yeah so you can see both front and back it has that so now let's draw on this page at this sketch now we'll be pulling out um come here what's the diameter or oh. have different questions yes i have to work with one of them so okay this guy has circle of diameter 12 enter then i click on finish sketch and i extrude so the distance here is 40 yeah i click on finish so in this diagram i'm using right they are telling me there is um a chamfer joint here and this the difference between the chamfer joint or the chamfer circle and this big circle or big cylinder is um they told me okay this big, big cylinder is diameter 12 the chamfer part is diameter 10 which means 12 minus 10 the difference is 2 so i come to chamfer i click on this edge i tell it um i have diameter yeah that's 2 10 minus so i 12 minus 10 is 2 so it does the job for me i have my chamfer joint then i click on thread yeah i want to thread all of these parts so remember you need to pay attention to your question m12 one times all like what's the thickness of your thread so you always find it here and make sure you click on it because they are different right so okay yeah this is 
it for our board so let me try drawing a knot drawing. so i come back to a new sketch click on start sketch this guy then my polygon to six sides my stretch uh cool then come to my dimension this guy to this guy 18 enter and i just need to make it straight and how do i do that i prefer to draw a sorry okay i prefer to draw a line as i from this center on the straight line yeah i click okay then i click on this guy touch the three of them two and three okay one two three yeah stream let me cut this off so i finish my sketch and i extrude this guy backwards at 7.5 mm 7.5 yeah that's cool okay and i come here to finish my sketch i draw a circle of diameter 18 i click okay finish and i'm coming i don't want to extrude it i want to draw all of what i have to draw then extrude at the time comes to circle two again draw a circle um 18 enter yeah finish sketch so i have circle on both sides and i come to extrude enter six touch this guy Five degree. Okay. Okay, I did for this back. Then the next one I want to do extrude again for this guy. Intersect 45 degree. You can do it one by one, but I just want to kill time and be quite quick. So yeah, I have both sides, so now I have to make my boots um come here edit sketch so the diameter of our circle the other time was 12 yeah so come here draw 12 so this is where it's going to drill to through finish sketch extrude i'm cutting through cut draw I click on OK and I come to thread. I click on this guy. Remember, um, I think we use 12 times 175. Yeah, I think we use that earlier. Yeah, so here is our boat. Let's just source things up. Yeah, so this is our boat and this is its knots.